Welcome to this month in GKE, August 2025 edition. This month, we're all about compute and networking enhancements. To get things started, we have a great new feature called Fast Starting GKE Nodes. We are now able to initialize a new NVIDIA L4 accelerator in under a minute. Uh, this drastically reduces the cold startup times for GKE autopilot nodes. Note, we'll be coming to GKE standards soon, making scale up for your own services or other services such as Vertex AI much faster. Additionally, for those of you using TPU V5V and 6E, we've reduced startup time by up to 50% without you having to make any changes to your code. Auto IPM or Automatic IP Address Management is in public preview. Auto IPM lets GKE dynamically allocate and manage IP addresses for your cluster. This simplifies IP planning, improves IP address efficiency, and allows your cluster to scale without running out of IPs. Speaking of IPs, we introduce multi-subnet clusters. This feature, which is now in public preview, allows you to add additional subnetworks to GKE clusters. This is useful when your cluster is growing and you need more IP addresses for your nodes or pods, preventing you from having to pre-allocate large IP addresses and waste IP ranges. The GKE inference quick start, GIQ for short, is now generally available. GIQ helps you analyze, optimize, and benchmark AI models on GKE. It provides great price performance profiles and helps you generate optimized manifests to deploy your models. So try it out. With feature gates for alpha clusters, you can now selectively enable alpha and beta features for your GKE alpha clusters. This allows for more focused testing without the potential instability of enabling all alpha features at once. We also introduce an improved horizontal pod autoscaler which is able to handle up to 5,000 HPA objects per cluster. This new improved version has also faster reaction times for auto-scaling events. Secret Manager now supports Parameter Manager, an extension. Additionally, and probably one of the most frequently asked for features, the Secret Manager add-on now supports auto-rotation for mounted secrets. This means that when you update your secrets, we now periodically update and refresh the content of those secrets within your pods. We have a number of improvements in general node configuration and customization. To tell us more about it, we have Spencer, who is the product manager working on this feature. Thanks, Movic. Something we've been working a lot on the past 12 months is how do we actually expand node customization and configurability. The whole principle behind this is how do we set configurability customization at actual boot time? So how do we actually shift it left and get these things started faster? To give you all a few examples of this, one being max image polls, I do always pull as many disk images as I can at once at boot versus overwhelming my actual disk pressure. Another one being eviction soft, the whole principle being, let me give my pods a bit of a grace period before being kicked off due to CPU, memory, or general disk pressure. And speaking of disk pressure, we've also released mem swap and private preview. This whole principle tying back to eviction soft of, what if I can relieve a little bit more memory pressure before it owns and eviction soft kicks in? What for those P99s, please have it be a bit more spiky towards the actual disk before it pulls back and runs on the actual memory. Last one, we've released Topology Manager. The core idea being, what if your pods have better hardware placement on the actual devices of CPU and memory reservation so you don't have extra network latency or even down to base principles of PCI bus express latency slowing it down going from, say, device 0 to device 1. We also made three categories of machine types generally available for GKE. For general purpose compute, the C4 machines with Intel Granite Rapids and local SSD. For storage optimized compute, the Z3 SOVM instances with between three terabytes to 72 terabytes of local SSD. And for memory optimized compute, we have the M4 machines with up to 224 CPU and six terabytes of memory which are great for data workloads. The Hyperdisk ML volume populator is now generally available. It automatically creates a hyperdisk ML disk from a cloud storage bucket. This makes it super simple to use large data sets for your machine learning workloads. This brings us to the end of another episode of This Month in GKE. Stay tuned for more news about GKE next month.